Well, as millions of investors follow the Dow Jones Industrials as their main measure of how the stock market is doing, but due to some changes that the average made last year, get some new entrants into the Dow Jones Industrials, and surprisingly, those some of those new companies have more influence on the new Dow than you might think. My name is Dan Kaplinger. I'm the Motley Fool's Director of Investment Planning, and today I want to talk about how Visa and Goldman Sachs had such a huge impact coming into the Dow. Now, the Dow brought in three new stocks, Goldman, Visa, and also Nike, but it was really the two, Goldman and Visa, that had the most impact on the Dow. And the reason for that is pretty simple. The Dow is what's known as a price-weighted index. And so when you're looking at the relative influence of companies in the Dow, what's most important is a company's share price. Now, for Visa, Visa has the highest share price in the Dow. Goldman Sachs weighs in at number three behind IBM. And so when you have such a big influence coming in to the Dow for the first time, it's a situation that's really changed the dynamics of the Dow. When you add up the influence that Goldman Sachs and Visa have, it adds up to 16% of the Dow, even though those are just two stocks out of 30. And so it's really something that you have to pay attention to. It also had a big negative impact on IBM because IBM used to be the highest priced stock in the Dow, weighed about 10% of the overall average. Now that's down to about 7% again because of Goldman and Visa. So it's something to keep in mind as you look at the Dow, especially as you notice sometimes the Dow is moving in an opposite direction from the S&P 500 and other indices. That's a big reason why these changes have made those disparities between the Dow and other stock market indexes even bigger. Now for more on the markets and making sure you make the most of your investing opportunities, be sure to stay tuned to Fool.com. Thanks for watching and Fool on!